I was one of 3,000 torchbearers for the Pan Am Games. If you think about 10 years ago, can you imagine that CAMH would have been chosen as a destination for this uh, type of event? Where I started, towards, uh, do towards Dover Court, there were a number of people there and there was picture taking and we lit the torch. And, uh, and I have to tell you, the symbolism of that is so powerful. I didn't expect that. It was a very emotional experience for me. And then coming down, I saw that the, there was a crowd and that the crowd was building. And I was just swelled with pride at my organization and the people in my organization. Catherine, some people might not sense immediately the connection between the Pan Am Games and mental health. Can you help us connect the dots? <laughs> when you think of the athletes, the obstacles that they faced in their journey to achieve a dream, and then you think of uh, the people who seek our services. If uh, I were to choose the one important thing that uh, enables their success is that they have people who don't give up on them, people that support them, people that surround them, and people that uh, uh, cheer them on to the end. Fantastic. To have me be the end runner here was, I think, a real testament to the fact that, uh, uh, that there's an increased awareness of the importance of mental health, that it's, uh, that it's understood to be part of health, and that CAMH is leading in the field. Oh, that's a good job.